Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Wednesday, the 18th of May. Um, to apologise for Monday, what happened was I had some weird thing going on my eye, which meant I couldn't actually see or focus um, properly. So um, unfortunately, trying to look at the computer and do anything vaguely practical um, was just too much and I had to take a sick day. Um, this morning I was at Datchett St Mary's School leading assembly on equality and equity. And we were thinking about what that means and how that relates within a Christian context as well. Um, so we are now back. My, I can see properly just about. There you are. Hi. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's good to be back and actually be able to do prayers properly as opposed to kind of looking vaguely at a screen thing. I can't read a darn thing. But um, we will be coming together. We're going to pray together. We're going to give thanks to God together. I'm also going to pray for a very special lady who has sadly died. Um, Sister Jane Olive, who was um, at Cusden, which is where I trained for ordination. Um, she had since retired to a care home um, and has sadly passed away, so we're going to pray for her uh, today. But as we come together, let us reflect on the day that has been. Let us pray for one another and let us give thanks to God. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, to be glory and praise for ever. From the deep water of death, death you brought your people to new birth, by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed, and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Ye choirs of New Jerusalem, your sweetest notes employ, the paschal victory to him in strains of holy joy. How Judah lion burst his chains and crushed the serpent's head, and brought with him from death's domain the long imprisoned dead. Triumph in thin glories now, his scepter ruleth all. Earth, heaven, and hell before him bow, and at his footstool fall. While joyful thus his praise we sing, his mercy we implore, into his palace bright to bring, and keep us evermore. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory, Holy Ghost, to thee, while endless ages run. Alleluia. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As the evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 98. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his, sal his salvation. His deliverance he has openly, openly shown in the sight of nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth to see the salvation of our God. Sing praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing and sound praises before the Lord and King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwells upon it. Let the river clap their hands, and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world, and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord has made known his salvation. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 99. The Lord is King. Let the peoples tremble. He is, he is enthroned above the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion, and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King, who loves the justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They call upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. He answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. 
for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our third psalm for this evening is Psalm 100. The Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verses 9 to the end of the chapter. When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you must not learn to imitate the abhorrent practices of those nations. No one shall be found among you who makes a son or daughter pass through fire, or who practices divination, or is a soothsayer, or an augur, or a sorcerer, or one who casts spells, or who conjures ghosts or spirits, or seeks oracles from the dead. For whoever does these things is abhorrent to the Lord. It is because of such abhorrent practices that the Lord your God is driving them out before you. You must remain completely loyal to the Lord your God. Although these nations that you are about to dis dispossess do not do give heed to soothsayers and diviners, as for you, the Lord your God does not permit you to do so. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet, like me, from among your own people. You shall heed such a prophet. This is what you request of the Lord your God at Horeb. On the, day of, uh, on the day of the assembly, when he said, If I hear the voice of the Lord my God any more, or ever again see this great fire, I will die. Then the Lord replied to me, They are right in what they have said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their own people. I will put my words in the mouth of the prophet, who shall speak to them everything I, that I command. Anyone who does not heed the words that the prophet shall speak in my name, I myself will hold accountable. But any prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, or presumes to speak in my name a word that I have not commanded the prophet to speak, that prophet shall die. You may say to yourself, how can I recognize a word that the Lord has spoken? If a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, but the thing does not take place or prove true, it is the word that the Lord has not spoken. The prophet spoke it presumptuously. Do not be frightened by it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain, Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has borne away anew, uh, borne away anew to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. In an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who have been protected by the power of God through faith, for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You are ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Our New Testament reading is taken from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Rid yourselves, therefore, of all malice and all guile, insincerity, envy, and all slander, like newborn infants. Long for pure spiritual milk, so that you may, uh, that you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted, uh, tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight, and like living stones. Let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone that the builder um, rejected has become the head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall, 
They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to, uh, destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a royal nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had re not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his low servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray and give thanks for the day that has been. As we come towards this evening, may we be together in peace with you, Lord. May we rest well. May we awake in the morning to sing your praises. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray this evening for the soul of Sister Jane Olive. We give thanks for her life, her work, her ministry in leading the uh, the sisters for, who, when they were at Clure, for her witness and for her dedication to a life of prayer and service of you. We pray for all who mourn and grieve her loss. We pray for all who are called to the life monastic. We pray for all who are reaching the end of their lives and those who recently lost their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are struggling at this time, for those who are struggling to make ends meet, for those who are worried and anxious about what the future holds, for those who are in need of care and comfort, for those who are using the food bank. We pray for those who are in need and help, help us, Lord, to be generous in sharing what we have. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for the people of Ukraine. We pray for all who are engaged in the fighting at this time. We pray for an end to war and an end to violence. We pray for those who are fleeing the violence, for those who are seeking safety and sanctuary. We pray for those who are in need of care and support, for those who have come asking for it from us. May we offer with open arms that love, support and care that we would want. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are struggling with their mental health, for those who are in need of care, support, for those who are receiving therapy and for those in residential care. We pray for those who are in dark places, we pray, Lord, that your light will guide them to a happy space. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Rose, Sarah, Gwenna, Gillian, Brian, Chris, B, and Pamela. 
We pray too, Lord, for those who are known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, has overcome death and opened to us the gates of everlasting light, grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. So, uh, just to say we will be, uh, all things remain equal, that nothing weird happens with eyes again. We will have morning and evening prayer tomorrow at 9 and at 5. Um, and again um, on, uh, on, uh, on Friday. Looking ahead to the weekend, uh, we will have at 8 a.m. a BCP Holy Communion. Uh, at St Mary's will be followed at 9.30 by the main Eucharist at St Mary's, which will be streamed online as well. And at 11 o'clock we'll be at St Thomas's for the Eucharist there. Looking ahead to um, next week, to next a week Thursday, so the 26th of May, there will be a, um, an Ascension Day service, joint service, at St Mary's at 8pm. So please do join if you're able to. Until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.